Hey guys, it's me, Jacques Gaines, and I'm back again. And today I'm going to be talking to you about this little thing right here called sort by. And we have different attributes in there that are a lot of fun to work with. Now, I did a photo shoot with the beautiful Melanie and Celeste. They were great. They do tango and they want to market their tango courses and classes in the city of Quebec. And they asked me to take some photos. So I wanted to show you some of the great ways of using the sort by function in XR Photo 2024. Stay tuned. Hey, you guys, before I start, remember that I am an XR Photo 2024 partner. If you like the software, think it's cool, uh, there's some links in the description and a discount code for 15% off. You guys can go and take advantage of that and have a lot of fun with this software. If you really want to do triage and you want to do a great job, I really think it is worth it, guys. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Today we're going to be working with what is called sort by. What sort by is, is a way to organize your photos with already predetermined attributes that all photos have. Whereas in attributes, you are assigning attributes to the photos first. So you're assigning a rating, a color rating or a star rating or a flag to the actual photos. And after that, you can work with filters to find the photos you want according to the attributes you have given to the photos. And aesthetics is what we're going to talk about today. But I wanted to make sure you guys understood that that's what I mean whenever I refer to the expression sort by. Aesthetics. Wow it's really cool and it's part of the ai function of the software so what i'm going to do is show you guys how you can use sort by and get as quickly as i can to the star of the show so stay with me because we're going to really talk about aesthetics and how cool it is so let's get to work so i have imported i have a video on importing photos into the software make sure when you import that you let the software analyze using ai to make sure that it understands the attributes of every photo so if I go here, we can see it says the AI has automatically written in two faces, smile, person, frontal face, female face, eyes open, adult. So it has done that all on its own. You have not had to do anything. It's so cool for that. Once we're in here and we got our pictures taken for a tango shoot and we want to look at the photos, we can go up to here and do a bit of sort sort by by default sort by is on file name. So file name, it's very simple. If it sees that it says 1010, the next one will say 1009. The next one will say 1008. Now this right now, I believe is in descending. So let's put it in ascending, see what happens. Ascending means that it starts by the lower number. So if we go here, okay. So this one is called Celeste Tango. Oh yes, I renamed these. This is Celeste Tango 001. So the next one in theory should be 002. There you go, Celeste Tango 002. And the next one should be Celeste Tango 003. So when you're using the sort by system, you can always go by file name. It will always go alphabetical order and it'll also go by numbers and you can use that. Now you can also go by capture date, but obviously if you've taken all the photos on the same day, it'll probably give you the same lineup because it also, I think what it does is it goes by date and if their date is the same, it goes to the time, then it goes to the hours, seconds, minutes and whatever so you can use ca by capture date you can also go by star rating and that you'd have to use the attributes i have a video on how to use attributes i'll leave a link in the description but you can go and check it out there after you have labeled all your photos you can use sort by and use attributes star rating when i go here and say sort by star rating it will put the ratings that i put at the beginning in the front so it's pretty straightforward and logical. But what we're here to talk about is aesthetics. This is an AI software. So what you are doing when you actually press sort by aesthetics is you're telling the software 
to show you the best looking photos. That's it. Not, like no other criteria, not not whether the photo has two people in it or the eyes are open. What it'll do is say, listen, these are what I think are the most attractive photos. So if I press aesthetics, ascending, we'll start by the least aesthetic and we'll go to the, the least nice to the most nice. If I put descending, it'll give me what it thinks is the nicest photos. So if you go down, the software tells you, well, I think this is a better looking picture than this for different compositional reasons. It picks a certain photo like this one right here in the hall right here. It picks this photo maybe because of the leg up or whatever. Now, does sort by aesthetics do a good job? Well, I can tell you that it's going to be a while before AI can really do it like perfectly and really, really well. Here's what I think. XR is a very deep software, and if you go up to the top here, you're going to find out that you also have what's called a text prompt, and that's another for another a completely other video. Now, it's just to make sure that you understand that there's quite a few features within this software, and it's almost solely for triage, and it uses AI, so there's many, many ways you can work. Personally, the next way I'm going to show you how to work is a suggestion where you bring your favorite photos into a collection and then sort by aesthetics. What I'm essentially doing is bringing in a second opinion on my photos. That's it. So I pick my photos from what I think I like, and then I really do ask the software to use its AI to tell me its opinion. How you work, there's different orders. You can work by aesthetics first, then tag. You can use the text prompt. You can use it to find faces. What you're doing is funneling down to the best photos possible that you can get. And using the AI features is really up to you on how you do it. I think everyone should sort by file name. Start by the first photo. Make sure you build your previews. Put that photo up. If you like it, press a star rating and press what you like. After that, you should create a collection of all the photos you like the best called favorites. Then you go into that collection and then you sort by aesthetics and see what the software suggests to you. Because the software might not see stuff that you see. So there might be a photo where, for example, um, let's say we go to dance here and at one point there, it might, uh, for, there was a point where we, I got them close together and one person has their eyes closed and the other person has their eyes open. Give me a second, I'll try to find that. Now it might not see this photo as that nice because the eyes aren't wide open completely. It even says in the tagline, eyes closed, but you might like the photo yourself because it markets the idea that they're happy or whatever. So that is why it's very important to always make sure that you do a triage at the beginning. However, I think it becomes extremely useful when you have picked your favorites out and then after that you do a sort by aesthetics. Then you can decide what you deliver first. The software tells you, well, this is a really nice photo. And when it goes to the top, and you can send that photo to the client and it might help you out quite a bit. It's a great tool. It's a lot of fun to use and we're going to use it right now. So what I'm going to do is start rating my photos from zero and I'll see you guys on the other side. So there you go, guys. I just put labels and tags. So I put red on the ones I like the most. If I say, OK, guys, show me just the red. All these are red. That's all that's left. All the reds, all the reds. Nice. Now, what I'm going to do is create a collection and the collection is going to be called Celeste Tango. Good stuff. I do a select all when you want to learn a software. I always use the expression when in doubt, right click. So with these all selected, I can go right click. And from there I can go 
add photos to collection and find Celeste Tangle. Bang. You can see up here in the progress bar, it's adding them. Now, I also labeled some blues. These are the ones I'm going to edit right away. I've always labeled that way. So these are the ones I really love that I think they're really amazing. I am also going to put these into the same collection. So I'm going to go control A and I'm going to go add photos to collection and the collection is Celeste Tango. So there you have it. Now I have all my selections in select Celeste Tango. And from here, now we can play with aesthetics. So I think what happens is you've basically got rid of all the junk. I just wanted to make sure that I had stuff for this type of contract. Now I'm going to go sort by aesthetics. So aesthetics and let's see how it judges. Uh, obviously it has a inkling towards portraits, but you can see these are the more flawless shots of the triage that I did do and they're kind of fun. You can see these type of shots the software likes and these type of shots right here wide angles like that are really nice so i would advise most people to make sure that you do a, like an initial triage before you start doing uh, any sort of editing and then after that you do a triage by aesthetics and that's where i would start my editing when you're dealing with a client because i trust the software enough to tell me well maybe i've been too immersed into this project and i don't see the beauty of some of these shots so what i'll probably do to show uh, the client is i'll take a photo of celeste close i'm going to go here and i'm going to go in the collection i can say listen just show me the blues please and it shows me my selections. And from that, you can say, choose by aesthetics. So this is by file name. And you can say, please just show me the blues and show me by aesthetics. These are all blue labeled and you have the best ones. So let's see these. Yeah, that's a beautiful portrait of Celeste. Yeah, those are really nice. And there you go. That's that's what you have. And uh, it's just to tell you that you can trust the software pretty well when you're doing sort by aesthetics. It's another tool within XR 2024. Remember, guys, I am an XR 2024 affiliate. If you guys like the software and would like to buy it, you can get a 15 percent discount with my code. It's in the description below. Check it out. Use my link and it supports the channel and helps me out a lot. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget everybody. Keep on making something from nothing. <laughs>